Hey everybody, I'm just about set up, trying to get Jimbo in his place for the show, but he doesn't really want to get in the spot. Let me know how I sound, uh, and I'll be getting going in just a sec. I think the I think my voice is kind of quiet. I just turned it up a little bit. But yeah, let me know how I sound. Okay, be on soon. Bye. Just a quick glance at the Jimbo cam. He should be there by himself soon, but Jules is keeping him company for right now. As we get our finishing touches set up, I'll let you just watch Jimbo be adorable. All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the chill stream. Today, <laughs> today we are gonna be real chill. We're just gonna hang out and crochet together. And it's just gonna be like a, just a cool hangout time. We are gonna be making some ghosts today though. And you can see I've got my giant yarn. I got my tea all set up. In my Jimbo mug, look at my Jimbo mug. How freaking cute is that? Oh my God, it's so cute. And really hot, but it's okay. All right guys, so hey, today we are gonna be making some crocheted ghosts, but we're gonna make them giant. I got a bunch of different kinds of giant yarn. I've never really crocheted anything giant before. I have crocheted, I guess, a, a T-Rex giant once, but uh, I don't know. We're trying different yarn today and we're gonna see how it goes. I've got some big crochet hooks and I've got a bunch of different yarn to test out. I don't know how many we're gonna be able to make today, but I think we'll be able to make a few. And then simultaneously, we got right, where is it, there. <laughs> I know it's all, it's all reversed right now, but we got a little Jimbo cam in the in the corner with a jewels very very cute very cozy yes welcome to my rainbow room this is the rainbow room it's a um just a cool hangout spot it's also my office and and jimbo wants free 
Jimbo's gone. He'll be back. He'll be back. Um, okay. Well, let me know how everything sounds, too, if anything sounds weird. And uh, let's talk about all the things that you need to get crocheting today if you want to join. Wow. You don't say. So the first thing you're going to need is the crochet pattern. Um, if you want to get the crochet pattern, it's totally free. You can find it at Club Crochet right down there. Right there. Clubcrochet.com slash ghosts. I also put a link in the description. And uh, we have kits available. Uh, I'll show you the kits in a little bit. Uh, and <laughs> obviously this is a test. Uh, let me know how everything goes, by the way. I, you look so happy. That's what they say. Oh, that's so sweet. I am happy. Um, yeah, and as far as the materials go, I'm going to be using all chunky yarn in a bunch of different kinds. I have the labels on a few of them. So I'll give you uh, the exactly what hook and, and yarn we're going to be using during the uh, crocheting. Um, but for the eyes, I don't think I have very many safety eyes that are big enough. I did get these 20 millimeter safety eyes, which might work for some for one of our like almost giant ghosts, but it probably won't work for all of them. So I also got some black chunky yarn so that I could crochet some eyes and we could try that out. So, oh, I threw my eyes in my tea, but that's okay. Mmm, <laughs> tastes like eyes. Okay. <laughs> um. What else did I want to say? Oh, how you can support this channel. If you'd like to support this channel, you like what's going on here, and you really like this chill crochet stream, let me know by liking down below and subscribing to the channel. If you're not already subscribed, what are you even doing? Subscribe and like this video. That'd be cool. If you want to support us monetarily, there's a few different ways you can do that. Uh, the first bestest ever way is with the Club Crochet membership. Members get early access to future patterns, they get access to the exclusive library of tutorials, and <laughs> Jimbo is being so cute, it's very distracting. You can. Yeah, you totally can see him. Um, uh, and they get exclusive access to the entire library of tutorials. There are almost 300 tutorials. They can even get kits each month with all the materials that they need to make whatever we're adding to the library that month. Next month, we are making, let me go grab it, Sorry. We are making burbs. We're making humming burbs. Hopefully it'll focus. I don't know how the focus thing works. We're making humming burbs or turkeys. You can choose which kit you want to get. The last day for sign up is the 30th. So you only have, or the, the end of the month, the 31st. So you only have a couple of days to sign up. Cooper, thank you so much for the donation. We'll talk about that in just a second as well. But uh, yes, you only have a couple more days to sign up for this month's Club Crochet Kit. It is our Burb Day. Happy fifth birthday for Club Crochet, so that's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I, uh, it's a great way to support this channel and you get a lot uh, with it. Uh, and yeah, okay. So and the last way you can help support is with a Club Crochet tip. You can tip me and it would be very cool because this channel does take a lot of effort and money to uh, keep up, especially these live streams. So if you want to support, you can by tipping. If you tip today, I got a special, I got a special uh, thing for us today. If you tip, we're gonna add a bonhomme to the, um, see that right up there? That's my fireplace. Check this out. I got a bag of bonhommes and if you tip, I'm gonna add a bonhomme to the fireplace. I thought that would be kind of a fun thing today. So Cooper, thank you so much for your support. I'm gonna add this little demon for you. So I made this, this cute little demon bonhomme. He's just so cute. I just think he's adorable. So I'm gonna put him up right, let's make sure it's still in camera. Can you see it right there? I think you can see that really tiny but there is a bonhomme there and he'll be and he'll just stick around for like ever hi Jimbo uh, Jimbo's being very cute uh, Johnny thank you so much for your support too no Jimbo don't mess with that he's trying to mess with the Jimbo cam 
Okay, he'll he'll chill out. He'll chill out. You can see his tail there. Um, Johnny, thank you so much for your support. Also, let's see which one should we add for Johnny. We need one with a magnet. Yes. How about a cow? A cow for Johnny. That seems pretty sweet. Let's do a cow. Right there. Hopefully you can see that. I know it's just like really adding a dot to the background, but it looks really cool if you can see it in focus. <laughs> um, okay. Well, let's get started. What do you think, Jimbo? Yeah? All right. So we're crocheting ghosts today. I'm gonna start actually not super chunky. We're gonna start a little smaller than super chunky. And we're gonna be using our Bernat uh, baby blanket yarn because it's big, it's really thick, but I don't think it's gonna be that hard to work with. And I, yeah, and I think I've got a couple eyes that'll really work with this. So this is what we're using. Um, specifically, it is called super, it's super bulky yarn and it requests an eight millimeter crochet hook, but I got a few in like giant sizes so we could try a few different kinds. Let's try the, we can try the eight. Yeah, we'll try the eight. Oh, nice chill stream. I like this setup a lot, so I really hope you like it too. It just feels so like chill. I will, Sarah, thank you for the idea. I will post the uh, the fireplace on Instagram after the stream. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna go through the pattern today uh, because it's really hard to like show you how I'm crocheting uh, in this, in this uh, you know, screen. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just make it and talk and hang out with you. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. Collection, thank you so much for your tip as well. I really appreciate it. I got a few good bonimals still in here, so let's see what we got. I think this one has a magnet. Oh wait, no, this one's great. Yeah, let's do, let's do this one. A beaver. So cute, I love it. Beaver for Collection? And we got another one from Christian Salinger. Salinger? Oh my gosh. Okay, so for Christian, we'll do. Okay, we got a bunny for Christian. Yes. And a beaver for Kali. If you guys have a preference, if you have a uh, specific bonimal that you want me to add, just let me know. Uh, when you tip. Or let me know in the chat. I'll be there too. We're gonna go over here with the beaver and we're gonna have to start like, yeah, that looks good. Can you see it really? I wish you could see it better. All right, that took one down. There we go. Okay, back to crocheting. Thank you again for your support. Okay, oh, it's Christina, my bad, sorry. Sorry, it, look how cool this chair is, by the way. I get to like, just roll around and spin around. We got two of them, there's another one right here, um, but you can't get it really in camera. All right, let's see how big of a ghost we can make here. The good thing is the ghost pattern is actually super duper easy. So I wanted to start with something like pretty simple. I like how the cat cam just has Jimbo's cat toy in it right now. <laughs> Can you hear him? He's going wild. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So we're just gonna go chill. I mean, already this is huge compared to, like this is already like the thickness of the ghost and we only did one round. The hard part, yes. The hard part is gonna be keeping track of my rounds. So let me get some like spare thread. This'll work. Just some spare orange thread. This way we can keep track of where the ends of the rounds are. Because the yarn is just so fluffy, it's hard to see where the rounds begin and end. Jimbo's very curious. He's, he's messing about with the, uh, the camera stand right now, but he'll hang it, he'll chill out eventually. 
Okay. I should make a Bonhamel cam. Oh, that would be really fun. That would be really fun. I can do that next time, for sure. That's a great idea. Thank you for the idea. I wish I made this, the chat bigger, because I can barely see it. Oh, there we go. Okay, I got the chat nice and big now so I can see it better. Okay, we're gonna place this in this place. There we go. How's your guys' day? How's everybody been? Getting some heavy duty stitch markers like I have. Oh, Hello re recommends heavy duty stitch markers. Okay, good to know. I just realized I probably should like pull up the pattern actually. But I'm pretty sure I remember most of the pattern. But yeah, I probably should. Let's I'll pull up the pattern on my phone real quick. By the way, if you haven't yet, you should check out the Club Crochet like app. It's not really an app, it's just the website. Um, if you pull up the website on your phone, it looks really, really slick. I, I really, really am proud of it. And we're making it better and better. Um, but yeah, you can kind of see it right there. It looks really good. So we're going to go to the ghost pattern. We're updating it right now so that it's easier to add patterns to the website. Um, with the hopes that eventually we can start having whoever wants to add a pattern to the website. So it makes it really easy for people to add. People are doing pretty well today. That's great. Over in Europe, your day is almost over already. Well, congratulations, Laura. All right, I got the pattern pulled up on my phone. I'll just keep it on my lap. It was nice and cold this morning, but it's getting a little toasty today. Now, I don't know if you can see much of what's going on on the screen, by the way. I just put on some like cute fall stuff just to add to the vibe. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna definitely have to keep track of where I'm at because it is hard to see. Five, six. I'm going with muscle memory right now. Seven, eight. Nine. 10. 11. 12. This should be really interesting. I have a feeling this might get me like super addicted to crocheting like my my patterns with giant yarn so it'd be kind of cool irene is crocheting a giant cow that's pretty cool you say a giant cow or just a regular cow is this fluffy blanket yarn any any tips for counting stitches easily i'm working with black blanket yarn and it's so difficult dude quartz that you you got <laughs> some work to do. That is a extremely, not only is blanket yarn really hard to count your stitches with, um, but your, but that yarn black on top of that sounds freaking impossible to count your stitches. I guess just like literally count them in your head or maybe like do two stitch markers, like do one at the beginning of the round and one at the end maybe. That could work. I'm already on round three. Two, but geez, it is like, you can't see, you can't see your stitches at all. But yeah, I am using blanket yarn. I'm using Bernat uh, blanket yarn. It looks like this yarn actually is pretty, like, I, I actually really like it. I, I really do like this yarn. It looks, it's gonna make it pretty big. Like this is gonna be, it's gonna be about that big. So it's not gonna be that large, but you know what? Like this is seems like a pretty good size. I'm very curious to see how big that one, that giant ball of yarn makes. All right, I'm just about done with my last round of increasing already. My yarn's getting all tangled together though which is obviously not preferable. It's getting tangled with my stitch marker, which is the real problem. Jimbo, why are you sitting there? You should be in your cat cam. I put all this effort into giving you your own 
space today because you're so meowy every live stream. He's like, nah, I'm good. I'm good. He was there earlier though. Oh my gosh, it was so cute. I know, he just doesn't want to. We got a, we get a jewels today. We get a lot of special guest jewels. Well, we're trying to get Jinto to cooperate, but that's impossible. Yeah. He's, he's a bad animal actor. Mm -hmm. Or a bad animal maker. A little bit of both, probably. Hello is already almost ready to add the safety eyes. That's pretty quick. Yeah, listen to Johnny about the black yarn. Get into a well-lit area. That'll really help out with crocheting with uh, black yarn, especially black blanket yarn. Cat cam. Very cute. Don't you love that his toy is a cat? I do. It keeps the cat cam accurate, even when he's uh, not there. Look at that, like this isn't even the big one. And it's making it pretty big. It's gonna get gigantinormous. Yeah, hello is, is going crazy quick on the ghost. It is a quick pattern. It's it's also no sew, so you don't need to uh, sew anything together, which is gonna be really nice for adding, for making it with this giant yarn. I'll probably make a lot of them with this big yarn. By the way, today is the last day to uh, add your submissions for the ghost uh, crochet challenge. Um, we're doing a crochet challenge right now. You can learn more about it at clubcrochet.com slash challenge. Uh, there's a link in the description and uh, I'll try to put it in the chat as well. But it is the last day for that. All you really have to do is crochet ghost any way you want to and post a picture. You can post it on Instagram, on Reddit, on the Discord channel, wherever you want. But it's a great, uh, oh, and, and we'll choose four of our favorites which the community will vote on, and whoever wins will win a free crochet kit. So that's kind of cool. It's just a fun way to uh, challenge yourself to make something a little, I don't know, a little weird, a little interesting. Thank you, Cooper. Cooper put a link in the chat for you. Oh, dude, Marilize101 says, uh, as someone who just discovered your channel, can I just say how easy it is to use your patterns? Thank you. I do try to put in extra effort for all my patterns to, to make them as easy as possible. If I were watching the stream, I wouldn't know what which which camera to watch? <laughs> He's so cute. Hi, Erica. Thanks for joining. Joining. No. <laughs> All right, I don't know how many rounds I've been doing here. I have not been keeping track. I just know that I'm supposed to do four rounds of single crochets. And I've done three. I'm starting to be able to see my stitches now. That's getting bigger. Oh, we got a honker. How big of eyes these actually, I think, are too big for this. Probably. I might need to use a little bit smaller, maybe like 15 millimeter. I think I might actually have those. I don't think I can frog this yarn very well. It doesn't like want to come apart very easily. Or at least that's what I found with that big chunky yarn. I tried to like test it out to see how, 
how well it's going to work with me, but it doesn't behave very well. So I think it's like, you gotta just be careful. He has so much energy. I know, he was napping right before the stream. I was really hoping he would stay sleepy. I'm trying to tire it out a little bit. Yeah. But there's only so much you can do. By the way, just, I mean, just look at this. Look at how cute that is. Oh my gosh. He's just a little demon. Cat on cat violence over here. Cat on cat violence. <laughs> we call that, uh, well, that keep, that seat was called the Gamer Throne, but now it's called the Jimbo Throne because it's his seat. He sits there every single day. He loves that seat. I think this is gonna be our last round of just regular single crochets. Next, we get to make the arms. A little killer. All right, so making the arms now. No, you can't. Oh, it's amazing. I know. I might be able to see it on the full screen. No, you can't. You can bend the camera down slightly if you want. Just the top of it can bend. No, the very top of the camera. Yeah. What a dweeb! I love him. Oh, whoops. Four. Five. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, he didn't like that. Whatever just much. happened. I was touching him too much. He wants to mess with the cords now. Alright, bobble stitch time. Let's see what a bobble stitch looks like with just blanket yarn. <laughs> so far, Cat Cam has been a disaster. <laughs> no, it hasn't. Well, he, now he wants to rub on it. So yeah, that's why I put that weight on it. I don't know if that'll be enough. Do you have another one? No. Okay, well, if it falls, it falls. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. It's okay, we're testing it out, and it's also just like chill. That's the whole point. We're just chilling. We will. We're gonna have a ball. My kitty is so floofy, he's adorable. Don't go out. You want us to chill with us, Jimbo. Seven single crochets between arms. Very cool, one, two. Five, six, seven. That's what one bobble sti stitch looks like. That's pretty good. Christine, we can see your chat. If you wanted to know if your test was uh, working. Cameron says, uh, do we have any new stitched characters? No, I haven't made a new stitched character in a while. I haven't had a big chance to like play it a bunch because I've been testing out my, uh, my other game, Lava Run. And uh, I have a bunch of ideas for new stitched characters, but I want to release a book of stitched characters, uh, and I just haven't, I, yeah, I just got a lot of work to do for that. But we have a, um, there's a, an Ent I've been working on, a, um, hi KSB, thank you. Uh, yeah, there's an Ent I've been working on. There are Kobolds, uh, which I think you've seen. Um, there are Dwarves and a bunch of new, uh, like, fungus characters. There's like, there, I call, I call this new one called a, uh, a Kling Flinger or a Fling Clinger. I think a Kling Flinger. They cling to the walls and then they shoot. So they're basically like little turrets. Kind of like, um, Plants vs. Zombies style. actually almost done actually with our first ghost or at least the majority of it we've got to add eyes and everything but it's looking pretty good
Jimbo, you're sitting in the wrong spot. You're so close to your spot, though. I'm gonna move his toy so he feels more comfortable sitting up there in a sec. Sometimes if his toy's there, he doesn't want to sit there. Covered in yarn. Yeah, come up here. You're a good boy. All right, now I'm making the... Yeah, now I'm making the... Uh... Wait, working in the front loops only. Single crochet more. I gotta remember my pattern now. I'm making the frill on the bottom of the ghost, but by the way, if you are wondering. Hi, buddy. He's just staring at me. So cute. Can we see bunny me? What's bunny me? Bunny you. I don't know what that means. Explain yourself. You mean the little bunny that I put up there? The bottom one bunny? Single crochet one, and then half double crochet one. And then slip stitch one. Got it. Perfect. I don't know how much of a frill this is gonna make, but we'll find out. It is working. It's totally working. Huh. Cool. How do you get faster at crochet? What? That's a good question, Kali. Um, there are a few different ways to get faster at crochet. The first is uh, practice a lot. <laughs> that's definitely a first. Um, use somewhere in between this bulky yarn and like a little bit smaller yarn than this. You can go pretty quick with yarn like that. Um, and memorize the patterns. I think that's a really good tip. If you can memorize your patterns, that'll really help you out. Um, if you can get good at crocheting without a stitch marker, that'd be pretty useful too. But uh, the best way is just practice a lot. You know? It's looking pretty good. Can we see? Oh, the bunny, the bunny, uh, uh, bun bun from the D&D. I don't have it finished, but I'll grab it for you in a sec. Let me finish this up. That's what you mean. Yeah, I still haven't finished them up. I don't know why. Sometimes I get like, does this happen to you? I get times when I'm like working on a project and I just get like, I don't know, like I get close to finishing it and then I just stop. I don't know why, but I have so many projects that are just sitting like almost done. They're like 90% finished. And I just need to put it, the little bit of effort in to get it that extra little bit more. And sometimes I just, I don't know, something about it. I just, I have a hard time finishing it up. Ooh, Rikorumi yarn. Huh. Never heard of that yarn, Cameron. Anybody ever used Rikorumi yarn? I did the frill. Now we can add the face before we sew it closed. But I mean, this isn't even the big yarn. That's the big yarn. Okay, so this is like the somewhat big yarn. Look at the difference in size already. Wow, crazy. It's like eight times as big as the little ghost. 
All right, let me just try, let's try um, some different eyes. I have some pretty big eyes here. So we'll try one of these. Uh, but if we can't get a good size of eye, we uh, might need to use, um, we might need to crochet the eyes or, or use a bullion knots and stuff, but this might work. All right, so first, let's see where I put it on this pattern. One up, two over, so like, ah, right here. Actually, this really does work. And then there's one, two, three. Where is it there? No, 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 here. That looks like pretty good size for the eyes, I think. Is that the right placement? One, two, and up. One, two, and up. Yep. Cool. Hey. Pretty cool. Good to know that I have eyes that work really good for bulk, uh, for this bulky yarn that's not like crazy big. Eventually I wanna start 3D printing giant eyes for these projects, but, and then I can do like customized eyes and things. And the hard part is gonna be getting this backing on this eye because it's a very small back. Actually that worked pretty well. Let's try this one. I'm gonna give this to my friend's daughter. I think she'll really like this. Okay, so we got our eyes on there. Now we need to add a mouth. So I just got the same kind of yarn, uh, the same blanket yarn, but in black. Cause I figured I'm gonna need some black yarn. So we'll try this. The tr I think it might be a little tricky to sew our piece closed today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try using my crochet hook to sew it closed and to like add detail because I don't know if this is gonna fit in the darning needle, this giant yarn. Let's find out though, maybe it will. Hey, it does, look at that. Huh. Who, who would have thought? All right, so now I'm making the smile. I think we should make our ghost smiling. At least our first one. We could do something weird with the bigger ones, but one, two, three, and then up through the center of that one. Okay, let's see how this looks. That's not bad. That's pretty good. I like it. Cool. Let's do it. I love the idea of making giant amigurumi really, really easily. <laughs> Saves you so much time. I, I had my scissors. Oh, there they are where they're supposed to be. Who would have thought? All right. This is going pretty well. Add some eyebrows. We'll probably make more than one of these, so I might make eyebrows on the next one, but I think it'd be really nice to have a version of all of these with bigger and bigger yarn, so I can show like, look, this is it with this yarn, this is it with this yarn, so you can see like, here's how to make your Amy Groomy bigger. I don't know. I just thought it'd be kind of cool. And an evil smiling one. Yeah, I like that idea. For sure. Okay, last bit. We just want to uh, close our fella up now. One of my stitches came out, so I gotta redo that first, but it's just about there. Okay. So 
single crochet and then a decrease. Oh, Marky, I wish you could be crocheting along with me too. I wish you weren't at work. You should just quit. No, don't. Well, unless you really want to, then do it. Ichi. Kawaii. Oki. Oh, I can read some of this. To okay, so they say it's, the first word is cute. Kawaii. And then it says, Oki big something. That's kanji, I think. So I don't know what that word is. Bete? Obete? Maybe? Obete mo dote mo. I don't know what that next word is. I desne? <laughs> what did you what did you write? I really want to know how that what that says in English. I know it says very big something, but I'm guessing very big yarn maybe? Beke? Be? Obeke? Or obete? This part's tough. Finding where to add these stitches. Like, cause I'm, I need to find the back loop. I mean, just guessing actually does help a lot. Not, not guessing, but like, you know, knowing the pattern and knowing, oh, it's gonna be over here. That helps a lot. Obake, obake, okay, not obeke, obake. Right, because it looks like a hat. That's, why, that's how I remember ba is because it's it's ha with but when it has the two lines it's a ba but it looks like the top of a hat did i see your giveaway picture I, you know what i didn't yet I, I mean i probably did but i don't remember which one exactly it is but i will look at it in just a second let's finish this guy up first one two buckle my shoe I also need to get some stuffing. It's just about done. I think I can stuff it after this next round. Also, we can get rid of our stitch marker. We don't need that. Yeah, it's in Japanese. Oh, okay, it says, big ghosts are very cute. Oh, so does obeke mean ghost? Totemo kawaii desu ne? Yeah. Oh, that word is kawaii also, huh? One. Two. And we'll go down to this. Three. Four, all right, just a couple more stitches. Five. And, ooh, there's six. All right, cut the yarn, pull it through, and let's stuff it and sew it closed. I need to grab my stuffing from behind our cat cam. Look at him, oh my god, he's so cute. Switch to the cat cam while I grab that. Stuffing. Oh no. Too cute to boot, look at all this stuffing. I know I'm gonna need more than this, actually. I, I have a feeling I'm gonna go through like all my stuffing today and I'll have to go to the store and buy more. I should've just bought more. The big ghost is scary. <laughs> Happy Halloween, Morley. Thanks for joining. You learned Japanese years ago. Very cool, Rebecca. Oh, ob obake is an overarching, a word for overarching genre of Japanese spirits. I love it, thank you so much. 
we'll do a little bit more stuffing. Oh my god, you guys, I'm gonna get a What am I gonna do with all these giant crochet though? I'm gonna make so much of these things. <laughs> I'm gonna be addicted. Oh no. Jim, hello. Making a surprise appearance. Hello, Jimothy. How are you? Hope you're doing well. This is so cool. I love it. All right. We're gonna sew this one closed and then we can get going on our next size up. One. Two. I do not think the next chunk of yarn is gonna be able to be put onto this darning needle, but we will find out. The good thing is I know how to sew closed without a darning needle, but it can be a little rough. Close it up. And I'm gonna hide it in a couple of the back stitches because I don't think this yarn is the best for like making sure it doesn't come apart, you know? I have a sneaking suspicion, if I'm not careful, it'll come apart. But there we go. Our big, first big ghost. Pretty big, pretty adorable. Very cute. Very cute. Let's see if it'll focus. I don't like what's happening with the mouth though. It's just so fuzzy on one side, but on the other side it's not. So I'm gonna try to fix that. Okay. Small. Actually, this one I would say is regular sized. Then we got big boy. All right. Let's, we'll put big boy right here and then this one on top and okay you guys choose we got two more yarns to choose from we got this one which is a uh, wool ease wow it's called wool ease wow from lion brand and this stuff is chunky but it is like slightly off white but it's nice chunky yarn and it's wool so it smells like a sheep, which is kind of cool. And then we got this big chonker yarn. This is the Bernat blanket yarn. Pretty much the same as the last one, but even bigger. Which one do you think we should try? We'll try to use both of them eventually, but which one do you want us to try first? I'm thinking we try this one. Let's have some of our tea though, before it cools off completely. Shout out to the Jimbo mug. And another shout out to the cat cam because it's the best. The chonker. All right, we're gonna do chonker. Okay, so I got this big fat crochet hook. It's huge. It's a size 15.75 millimeter crochet hook, but I also have an 11.5, so we're gonna try both of these ones and see which one works best. If you need to test your a hook with some yarn, just all you have to really do is grab the yarn and just like to see if it'll like fully cover the crochet hook. This one doesn't. See how it's like it's almost falling out of the crochet hook. So this one's a little iffy. Let's try the big chunker crochet hook instead. Now I tried to use a magic loop for this yesterday and it did not work. It's just too big of yarn. It just, it doesn't work very right. So work very right? Yeah, that works. Uh, Jimbo mugs in stock soon. Yes, very soon, very soon. I've just been totally dropping the ball when it comes to adding merch to the shop. And I'm sorry about that, but merch to the shop very, very soon. Um, we're gonna try using a chain two method instead and see how that works. That's how I used to crochet all my amigurumi. Normally, I don't really like doing it now because it leaves a big hole in the top, but because this yarn is so chonky, I don't think it'll really matter because, you know, I don't think you'll really see the holes. So let's see if it works. One, 
two. Like I was saying before, you can't really go back when it comes to this yarn, so hopefully this works. We got one. Oh my god, this yarn is huge. Two. You gotta use like your whole arm's strength to do it. Three. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've only got three chains, or three single crochets so far. This, I mean, you can't even see, you can't even see what's going on here. Like, I can't see, I don't know where my stitches are at all. So I'm definitely just gonna have to go by feeling it. Four. Hopefully we have enough also. Five. Oh my gosh. One more. I might need to loosen my grip even more. Six. Okay. That is the first row done. And legit, first row is already as big as the our last chunky one. This guy's gonna be huge. He's gonna be like this big. He's gonna be giant. Okay. I think the best way to find my first stitch is gonna be working backwards. So we're gonna go one, two. I think this one right here is my first stitch. Am I under both loops though? Nope. Gosh, this is, this is like impossible to use. I wouldn't be able to do anything like remotely detailed with this yarn. It's just super hard to use, but it's gonna be cool when it finishes. I'm sure it will. I'm gonna stretch this out just a little bit. Man, I can't get into this first stitch at all. I think I crocheted too tightly. There we go. Ugh. Whew. Get some backbone into it. Oh my gosh. Okay, one. <laughs> okay, that's one. Let's do another one, the same stitch. Two. Oh my god, that's our first increase. This is crazy, guys. Three. Four. Whew. Make me, it's making me sweat. All right, next one right here. Five. Six. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, as I struggle with this math massive flu. Seven? Oh my goodness. Eight? Big. Nine, yeah, two round yarmulke, not, yeah. I, there's no way we have enough yarn for this, by the way. There's no way. I should have bought another ball. Oopsies. We'll see how big we can make this. I might need to make it short. 10. This is our last increase for this round. Twelve. 
Okay. Whew. I don't even need a crochet hook. I could just do this with my fingers. Look at that. Two round yarmulke. Looks beautiful. Wow. Okay, let me, I need to turn on the air. I'm legit sweating from this chunky yarn. Okay. This hook is size 15.75 millimeters. It's gigantinormous. All right, I'm on round three and I still gotta keep my count because I can't even see where my stitches are at all. One. Two. And three in the same stitch. Crazy. Wild, man, wild. Rebecca, you broke another hook? Yeah, turn off because it's so warm in here. Yeah, my, my fireplace is so warm. Oh shoot, I lost, I forgot where I was counting. One, two, oh, I only did three. <laughs> Four. Put your back into it. Eh. Five, I think. <laughs> Six in the same stitch. All right. Almost as big as my whole head. Bex, you broke your foot. I'm so sorry. Yeah, this is my office. This is part of my office. I'll give you a little tour in a sec. We call it the rainbow room. All right. Ooh. Why is this yarn being troublesome? There we go. Two in the same. Okay, so we did, oh, oh, actually I'm ahead of schedule. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Look at me, I can see my stitches now. Eight. And nine in the same stitch. Ten. And eleven and twelve. Eleven. Oh. And twelve. Oh my goodness. Keep going. Thirteen. Ugh. Yeah. Fourteen. Yeah. Whew, it's a workout, guys. Oh, did you hear that? That was wild, dude. That was a wild neck crack. Do we really have 93 people watching right now? There's no way. Wow, dude, that's crazy. Wow, hey, everybody. Welcome to the stream. All right, shoot. Where did I stop? Oh, I got, I'm on 14, right? Yeah, I got it. This is going to be a big ghost. Uh-oh. 
Beehive Queen said they forgot your password and can't get into your account, even though you're a member. Yes, you can. Um, email me at contact at gmail or contact at clubcrochet.com uh, and we'll help you get your email, your, your password back. We'll reset it for you. Okay, this is my last stitch for this round. And I, there's like legit, there's no way we have enough yarn for this. I knew I should have bought another one. I thought while I was at the store yesterday, maybe I should buy another ball of this yarn just in case. But I didn't. Because I'm a goofball. But I should have. But look at that. Like seriously, look at that. This guy can fit, we can fit like 15 of these in there. We could stuff it with a bunch of ghosts. Oh my God. We should stuff a ghost with ghosts and then we should stuff the ghost that's stuffed with ghosts in a ghost. It's ghost all the way down, baby. All right, now we're on our rounds of single crochet. So let's see how far we can make it here. I don't think we'll make it too far though, unfortunately, because of the lack of yarn. Unless we send Jules off to go get more yarn for us. But I don't know. I don't think that's very nice. I just might have to finish it after the stream. Do people crochet with this normally? How do they do it? I mean, it's kind of fun, actually. It's a challenge. I can't imagine doing a more difficult crochet pattern than this, though. Maybe the Triceratops, but I think that is like the, the like the hardest pattern I could possibly do with this yarn. Oh. Oh, dude, B, thank you. Everybody's being so sweet today. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for being nice. Oh, uh, Divine Rose, I'm sorry you're sick. Oh my gosh, get this, guys. So we have uh, my cousin's wedding is on was on Saturday, and they both got COVID. My cousin and her fiance got COVID, so they had to cancel their wedding. Isn't that a bummer? Such a bummer. I feel so bad for them. Let's fix the jumbo can. Look at, oh my gosh, she's so cute. Oh my God, my cat. Oh, just a quick, just a quick break. Just so we can look at this floofy. Oh my God. I love him. I love him. I want to pet him so bad, but I don't want him to wake up. Last night he was asleep like that and I was getting ready for bed. And I just went over to him and shoved my face straight into the fluff. <gasps> it was the best. <laughs> this. It's almost the perfect hat. It's actually a little too small for a hat. He looks like the yarn ball. He does. I am crocheting it off of him. This connects to him. <laughs> I like that. That's cute. All right. Oh my gosh. I want to get at least like two rounds of single crochets made and then I'll do a bobble stitch just to see how it looks because this is all the yarn we have left. We're, we're not going to make it. We're not going to make it. There's no way. And this is like hollow. So it's pretty much like what? Yeah. Bummer. Uh-oh, we got spam. We got a bot in the chat. Thank you. Cooper is so good at what they do. They're just a... They're so fast. Okay. 
Okay. What? I guess like once you get going here, it's really not too bad. But like, this is crazy. I'm supposed to do four rounds of this. This is only my second? First, I haven't even done one round of just single crochets. We barely even made it. We didn't even, we're, we're not even gonna make it to the halfway point of this pattern with one ball of yarn. And this ball of yarn was like 10 bucks. <laughs> oh well. Now we gotta buy another one to finish our ghost up. I legit am getting a workout in my right arm. My right arm is exhausted. <laughs> so funny. That's hilarious. Yeah, because we wanted to go like all the way down to there before we even had the arms. Seems like a really long ghost though. Hmm. Might need to adjust the pattern. For this chunky yarn. But we finished our first round. Actually, we finished. We're working on our second, it looks like. Yeah. For, for such a chill live stream, this is sure is a lot of effort. <laughs> Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Oh man, I was on a roll there. You hear that? Yeah. Sorry, Jimbo, did I wake you up? Oops, I think I messed up. Okay, I just want to see. One. What is the bobble stitch even gonna look like on this thing? Ooh, Korean! I don't know how to say hi in Korean, but hello in Korean. <laughs> there we go. Chunky boy is chunky. Oh. Annyeong, is that how you say hello? Really? No yarn? We got Jimbo, that's true, you're right. Okay. I'm just gonna see what happens when we add a bubble stitch. 
but in the right place because we just finished another round so I'm gonna skip two rounds and move straight to the bobble stitch one I want to get five stitches in before I do it two Test out a bobble stitch now. Because I'm curious of what it looks like with this chunky yarn. One. Oh, God. Two. I can't even get it on the crochet hook. up the bobble stitch. Oh! <sighs> oh my god, it's huge! It's huge, dude. The bobble stitch alone is as big as the big ghost. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. That's crazy. This yarn is wild. I'm almost out, but this yarn is crazy. What a challenge. I love it. Yeah, my wrist, seriously. Let's see what those eyes even would look like on this. These are my 20 millimeter eyes. Actually, a 20 millimeter, it's a little small, but it would work. All right, let's just keep going until we run out of yarn. And then um, I think we'll switch it up back up to that like semi, like chunky but not too chunky yarn. So I don't accidentally kill myself. Because oh! this has got to be like the hardest yarn ever to use. Stop it. Not fair. Look, I mean, come on. Look at this. Oh. I just can't. I can't. I can't stop looking at that. Next, last bobble stitch. We need to drink a tea before 
before we mess with this bubble stitch. I don't think this yarn is going to be any easier, by the way. It might be easier to see, but it's not going to be easier to use, I don't think. By the way, okay, look at this. You remember how my back hurt really, really bad? Okay. So these, these chairs are amazing. I love them. But I have a big problem where I really like to sit in these chairs like this. <laughs> it's probably absolutely terrible for my back. But it's my favorite way to sit in these chairs. I feel like a little kid in these chairs sometimes because they spin. So I feel like a child and I love it. Cause I get to just go like this. Hello. All right, let's get back to it. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, bobble stitch, that's right. Okay. All right, see you later, Jim and Jim's husband. One. One's easy. Two. Even two is not that bad. But now three. Three's tough. So we go one. This is three. All right, one more. Bah. Sorry, you can't even see what I'm doing. Yeah. Whoops. Uh oh. There we go. Two, one. Two. Ugh. And then through all of them. Oh. I did it. I did it. We have a two bobble stitches. Oh my god, that was exhausting. That's an exhausting stitch. Look at that though. That's a big, that's a big ghost. All right. I'm doing it. All right. We're almost out of yarn. I do need to keep a little bit of extra yarn, but look at that's like all we got left. Um, I think we can make it to the end of this row around, but after that, I think I should stop with this yarn and go buy more yarn and finish it up later. But we'll make a different kind of chunky ghost with the other yarn. Hold on, I gotta close that window. Someone, I swear to God, hold on. Okay. I've got a neighbor that I swear to you every single day at 4 p.m. Weed wax. Every single day. You don't need to weed whack that often. It's, it's, he's the neighbor right there. And I'm like, why are you weed whacking again? It's always at four too. I'm like, what? Every day? Anyhow, there's my neighbor, neighborly complaining. Okay, last stitch. For this chunky one. There we go. All right. That's all I got for this yarn, unfortunately. Only about that far. Halfway, not even halfway really, because I, because I, I could have done, I was supposed to do two more rounds. So I was actually supposed to start the arms down here. But honestly, I think that would look kind of weird because it, this chunky yarn just really gives it a lot of height, a lot more height than you think. Let's see, will it fit on my head? We'll find out. 
No. No. I can't get my head on there. I look like a... I look like a... An old-timey, uh... Judge. To jail! Okay. We're not gonna do this one. I think we're gonna be in a similar situation where this is just not enough. Well, let's see. Um, actually, maybe it will be enough. It suggests a size 19 millimeter crochet hook. The one we're using is 15 millimeter for this one. Can you imagine 19 millimeter? That's like, it's like as big as my arm. <laughs> it's crazy. That is crazy. Okay, so what do you think? Do we want to try using this Wool Ease Wow yarn to make a big, big, another, try another big one, but maybe run out of yarn? Or do we want to be sure we have enough yarn and make a different large ghost? What do you think? 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 I'm kind of inclined to just, I mean, we can try this big one actually. I just realized this is 80% acrylic. I guess that makes sense. Both, the biggest, okay. Let's try it. Let's see how far we can get with this big yarn. It was on sale too, so I can go back today get some other ones. By the way, here is the label if you wanted to know what we're using specifically. I don't know if it's gonna focus right, but you get the gist. Okay. Chonky boy. <sighs> Go out, <laughs> die and try him. I love it. Um, I'm gonna try using this big crochet hook again. I might want to shrink the crochet hook down, but we'll see. I think I can get away with doing a magic loop on this one. Maybe. We'll see though. One. Oh my god, this is so much easier to use. And you can see your stitches actually. Two. It's so much smoother. Three. Oh, and it's going to be big, but it's not going to be nearly as big as the last one. That's great. Four, five, which means that we actually probably will have enough yarn to finish it. Already I am a fan of this one over the other one. One, two, three, four, five, six, great. Let's see if we can pull it tight. Nice, nice, it pulls tight, no problem. Okay, so far I'm liking this yarn more than that Bernat Chunky yarn. It's just too big. But this looks like a good, a good choice. Yes, I know, it is a little bit, it does look like it's gonna be, it haunts our smoker's house, yes. It's a little off-white. They didn't have full white, I don't know why. They only had like this natural white. One, two, three, four, five, six. But you're funny, it looks like it invaded, a, it's haunt. Yeah, it's, it's the ghost of a smoker. Okay, now we are gonna have a problem being that it's hard to see because the yarn like threads in a weird way, so it's really easy to accidentally pull through the wrong spot, but that's okay. We'll, we'll make it work. One, we're just gonna have to loosen our grip a little bit so it's a little nicer. Two, and it'll just get easier as we go. Three, and four. Five. Six. Eight. Two. 
10, 11. I'm going to pull this tighter. Try to work around this again. Well, okay. Two rounds in. Way, way easier to work with. Uh, and it's looking pretty good, actually. It looks actually pretty nice. I could, I could see this being used for a few different things. Definitely a blanket, obviously, but it, it actually looks pretty good. I, I, I'm into this yarn so far. Come on. It is gonna smell like, it, I mean, it smells like a sheep. Like it straight up smells like wool. So getting this wet would be not preferable. Smell like a wet dog. guys this is looking great though oh my gosh the amount of of like comparing this one to the last yarn like this one is so much easier to use that it's crazy I, my my wrists were gonna fall off by the end of that last ghost this one I'm like I'm chilling oh by the way sorry I forgot to give you like a, a little bit of a tour of this room um, but I'll, I'll make sure to give a tour before the end of the live stream there's not a whole lot going on in here, but there is stuff to show you. Oh, dude, Fuzzball, thank you so much for the kind words. I really appreciate it. Um, speaking of jellyfish, this uh, next year, so I'm planning my year out a little bit. Uh, I want to start to plan like what patterns I'm going to do throughout the year. I'm obviously going to leave it a little bit open-ended so that I can like, you know, improvise a little as I go. But I know like at one point next year, I really want to do a series like a month or maybe two months of just doing water creatures. Like we already got like a seahorse and we have like um, the angler fish and a sea otter, but I want to do like whales. I want to do jellyfish, sharks. Um, I want to do a giant whale and then like baby whales. So yeah, that's something to look forward to is we're going to do a lot of water, like a whole, a whole series on water creatures, maybe some narwhals. That'd be fun. Stuff like that. but I've got a lot of plans for next year. I'm crocheting straight up to the beat right now. A trout? That's an interesting uh, request, Kali. Why do you request a trout? Not that I'm not gonna make it, I'm just curious. Why do you request a trout? Let me know. Flying though. I'm not sure how much crochet I'm gonna be able to do later tonight. My wrist is gonna need a break after using this chunky yarn. But you know, I think 
this is a very cute yarn. I just wish it was more white. Oh, you're a fly fisher. How cool is that? One time I went to, um, so I used to live in San Francisco for a long time. We actually just moved in August. So uh, this rainbow room is actually pretty new. Uh, but one time I was in San Francisco and San Francisco Golden Gate Park is crazy. It's first off, it's huge. It's gigantic. San Francisco's Golden Gate Park is actually bigger than Central Park in New York, which is a really wild statistic, but it's true. Um, it's just really long, whereas Go uh, 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 Central Park is like a big square, but but uh, Golden Gate Park is like a really, really long rectangle. Um, anyhow, so I was going and like just exploring the park and every single time that I explored the park, I found something new. They've got buffalo in the park, um, which like some people might already know that, but some people might not. Golden Gate Park has buffalo, like legitimate buffalo are in Golden Gate Park in California in a big city. What? The reason is because they were brought over for a movie, I think, and then they were left. Or at least, maybe that's Catalina Island, but something like that. Um, anyhow, that's one weird thing. But one time I was just perusing through the park and I went through this little forested area, this little tiny path, and I come out and it's this like giant pool, like a bunch of pools of water and a bunch of people fishing. And I was like, what? <laughs> What? Turns out they have a fly fishing pond in Golden Gate Park. It's not for actually catching fish. There's no fish in the pond, but it's for practicing fly fishing or something. I thought it was the craziest, like what a weird thing to have in our in the park. Just so like out of nowhere. <laughs> Just felt like really weird, but it was actually pretty cool. Anyhow, that's one of the crazy things that you can find in Golden Gate Park if you go searching enough. It's a really good park. I highly suggest if you go to Gold, if you go to San Francisco on vacation, or you live in San Francisco, which some people might. Hi, if you live in San Francisco, I miss it. Um, but if you go to San Francisco, you should totally check out Golden Gate Park. It's really, really cool. Uh, specifically go to the botanical gardens in Golden Gate Park. I think it's like seven bucks to go in and it's just awesome. It's a very, very cool garden. You can bring food and have like lunch there and stuff. There's a bunch of sandwich places near it. Yes, there's, there are, uh, yeah, you can ride horses in Golden Gate Park. There's like a horse corral thing. It's just crazy. That park is, that park is wild. Okay, guys, we are doing it great with this yarn. We're actually gonna be able to finish one. We actually might be able to make two with this yarn, which is kind of cool. I don't think I will. I think I'll only do the one today because I think this is enough chunky yarn to use. I think I'd like to go back to that big yarn, but not too big. But it's kind of good to know. And I like that you can see your stitches. You know, it's not as, it's not like fuzzy like the leather yarn. So you can actually see like the definition of where your stitches are. It's easier to like know where you're at. Onyx, hey. How are you? How was dinner? What'd you eat? I'm hungry. Let me know. What did you miss? Jimbo turned into a dog for like, like five minutes and then he turned back and no one said anything in the chat. I thought it was crazy that no one said anything, but he's a cat now, you can see. See, he's he's still a cat and still sleepy and adorable. 
He's the cutest thing in the entire world. I love him. Okay. Okay. Oh, shoot. Am I past my four rounds? No. I got a few more stitches. Alright. We got the first part of our ghost done. Now we need to make the arms and stuff, so... Pretty good. How much bigger is it? Oh yeah, it's bigger. It's bigger. It's gonna be about that big. You can definitely fit a ghost in the ghost, which is kind of fun. Ooh, grilled chicken and green beans. Mmm. That sounds great. I'm so hungry. I had a bagel, but I haven't really had much other than the bagel. I'm really bad at eating if you uh, didn't know that about me. I sometimes go an entire day without eating and I realize at the end of the day, oh, I totally forgot to eat today. I don't know why. I think I just get in the zone and like, especially if I'm making something, I just like kind of want to make it. I don't want to take a, I don't want to stop. So sometimes I just keep going. Is this live? Yes, it is. No, it's not pre-recorded. It's live. Hi, Quirky Pickle. All right, I'm making the bobble stitch now. One. Two. Oh my God, this is so much easier to make a bobble stitch with than the last yarn. Three. All right, there's our bobble. Looks pretty good. I like it. We're doing seven between bobbles. Four. Five. Six, seven. Hey, another shout out. If you haven't yet, you should totally like this video and subscribe to the channel. Why have you not already? Come on. No, but seriously, that would be great if you could. If this video gets 300 likes, I'll do a giveaway for a ghost kit. Actually, let me do this next bobble and I'll show you what is uh, all about, what that ghost kit is all about, actually. That'd be kind of fun. Oh my gosh, even your stitch markers are Club Crochet themed. So cool. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, yeah, we're on a bobble stitch, right? Right, 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 right. stitches round is done coming together pretty good I think right 
which needs its eyes. I don't know if these eyes are gonna work, but let's see how good they look. We don't need to add them until next round. So let's see how big they are. Just, to, just out of curiosity. Actually, I think that's the perfect size for the eyes. Like that. Oh my gosh, actually that is a really, really good size for the eyes. It's like perfect for the yarn. I'm just gonna go ahead and lock these in now because I want to. The hard part is, look at this locking thing. I don't know if you use these very much, but using plastic, like hard plastic locking mechanisms, these things hurt your hands so bad. So we're gonna see how bad this works. Oh, ah, there we go, I got it. One, two, one, two, up. God. Hey, I went out of focus. Hey, over here, camera. All right, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Wow, it sounds like I'm cracking my bones. I wish my bones cracked that well. Eyeballs are on. Let's do another round of single crochets. Oh, make it have a boo expression. I can try. Maybe. I might, I want to see what it looks like with just a smile though, because that way all three of the ghosts will look the same and it'll have a, like a really good, like we can see what the different sizes of ghosts are and it'll be like chill. And then for the next, like, you know, I don't know. I just think that'd be smart. Uh, by the way, here's the different sizes of like, this is the one this is the one we were just working on, and this is the one we currently have. You can see how much bigger. It, this new one can almost fit in the in the one we were working on. Yeah, it's called uh, uh, Zoe. The it's called like an applicator, I think, like a safety eye applicator. You can get something like that. Hey, shout out to um, uh, the people that let me use this music, by the way. Um, I can't remember what the channel's called, but this is, let me look in the, um, let me look in the uh, thing so I don't mess up the name. Clover Records. Okay, yeah, so this is, that is who is letting us use their uh, lo-fi music. It's a record label. That's being very nice and letting us use their lo-fi music. Um, so shout out to them. Thank you for letting us use this music. Oh no, you forgot to make the ghost for the challenge? Well, I mean, you have the rest of today. The challenge ends today though. And we're gonna post a uh, picture online where you can vote on which one you wanna make or which one you like the most afterwards. 
All right, I think that's it. We actually went one stitch too many. Um, I'm gonna do one more round where I do the um, the frills along the bottom before I add the mouth on. I think that's a good idea. Jimbo mugs, coming soon. Uh, Karen asks, do I think that big amigurumi would be easier to make than small ones? I, you know, okay, so here's the thing. I think it looks easier to make big amigurumi. And I think there is probably <clears throat> size of yarn that's a little bit chunkier than the yarn that I use. This yarn's not terrible, but it's really hard to see your stitches, which is really important when you're getting started to crochet. Um, long story short, I think it's probably easier when you're starting out to crochet with like worsted weight yarn instead, because it's just easier to see um, your stitches, which is gonna be really important when you're learning how to crochet. Uh, yeah, that's my answer. Um, Casey, when is the winter challenge going to be announced for the, uh, I, we, we talked, me and my, uh, business partner, Nicole talked about that yesterday. Um, sorry, my nose tickles. Um, we're going to start it on November. I think it's November 20th. I think is when we're going to start the challenge. And then you'll have all the way until um, like after Christmas. Uh, this giant chunky yarn, I don't know. I don't know if it's easier. It's, it's so like, I mean, it's easier to get your crochet hook where you need it to be, but you have to use like so much strength to actually do it, which is not something that you normally need for crochet. You don't need like strength for crocheting usually, but you do when it comes to this one, you need to like, like pull, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> oh, when is the winner? I'm sorry, I thought you said winter. <laughs> the winner's gonna be announced uh, uh, on uh, November 1st? Nah, we should probably do October 31st on Halloween, huh? So maybe like on Halloween or right after Halloween? Oh, hey Light, how are you? Welcome to the channel. You're new. Welcome. Ghostly frills are coming along just fine. He's so fun to hold. Oh, 
Kali, thanks for sticking around. So late. At least it's chill, you know? It's 2 a.m., but it's like, if you fall asleep while you're watching this, it's kind of like, that's fine, you know? It's not like I'm gonna start screaming at you or do that bah, 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 bah sound or anything like that. Or am I? Am I out of focus? I feel like I'm out of focus. Ooh, Onyx doesn't know what to do anymore. You should doodle, draw, do a little doodle. I did a doodle the other day. I made like a, it looks like a bunny with like a spring for a foot. I really liked it a lot. Sometimes it's nice just to doodle. And not know what you're drawing. Usually I like to start by just drawing the eyes and then I figure out what I want to make around that. I usually like to draw like things, like creatures or stuff. Ooh, do I make hats? Onyx, that is a great question. Um, I used to make hats exclusively. When I first started crocheting, that was like my thing. I crocheted a lot of hats. Um, but when I, uh, then I just got really into amigurumi. And uh, yeah, ever since then, I kind of don't do hats that much. But next year, we're gonna do, uh, I'm gonna start getting back into the hats. I have like a whole bunch, seriously, like 20 different hat designs that I've never released on Club Crochet. So I'm really curious about uh, what people are gonna think about it when I start re-releasing them on Club Crochet. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, the answer is yes, I used to do that a lot. Do I crochet vests or sweaters? No, I don't, but I really wanna add those to the website. So what I think I'm gonna do is um, find people that do design sweaters and vests and stuff, especially like uh, women that de design like, uh, like, uh, you know, um, Sweaters that are designed for for women. Uh, to do a pattern for Club Crochet because I don't really feel like it's right for me to design clothes that are not for me, you know? I think it's better to, to let someone else give it a shot and then just like sponsor them with Club Crochet, you know? like. Have them design it. I'll, I'll help out with the production and stuff like that. That's kind of what I've been thinking about for doing sweaters. Because I don't know the first thing about designing a sweater. Jules does, so I might have her do it. But look at that smile. Tell me that's not a perfect smile. Oh my gosh. So cute. Yeah, we're definitely gonna be doing these uh, chill crochet alongs more often, by the way. I hope you like them. I might start doing them on TikTok and Instagram as well, just like every now and then. So if you are a fan of what's going on here, uh, you should totally follow us on uh, TikTok and Instagram. We're just at, I think on Instagram, we're at club.crochet, and on TikTok, we're just at club crochet. Um, there was someone actually on TikTok that had the at Club Crochet name and I reached out to them and I was like, hey, like I own a company called Club Crochet. Can I use this handle? And they were like, oh my God, I'm a huge fan. Yeah, absolutely. And I was like, you're the best. You, I mean, you can barely see what's on that screen, but it's very cool. It's like forests in close up and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Oh, do I keep the ghost, the bottom of the ghost hollow? I mean, I could, I could keep it hollow. That'd be kind of cute. Especially because like I could put, oh my God, can you imagine? Actually, that would be really cute to have like a ghost and then you pick it up and there's another ghost in it and then you pick that up and there's a little ghost in there. 
That would be so cute. Look at that, it fits so well. Oh, I love that idea, Kali. A reversible ghost. You know what, let's do that after this. Let's do, let's do one this size that's reversible. I think I have enough time for that. Oh, maybe not actually. That, that kind of seems like maybe it would take a while because I'd have to make two more. Russian nesting ghosts, yeah. Maybe I'll do that on uh, on Instagram or TikTok later. Wow, cat cam is really is really working out great. When is the next live stream? Uh, let's look. I actually have a calendar. I've been meaning to get this calendar um, available for like other people to see all the time. Uh, but next live stream is on next week. Next uh, same time. Next Thursday at 3 p.m. Um, we're gonna be designing food. I'm gonna go back to the uh, light box, which is right over there. And we're gonna start, we're gonna design food and I'm gonna get your suggestions. What do you want me to design? How do you want me to make it? Stuff like that. So, I don't know. I think it could be a lot of fun actually. Um, I wanna turn off night mode on this. I'm gonna ask Siri to do it. Siri, turn off night mode. Night shift is already off. Oh, wait. Siri, turn on light mode? Light mode is already on. All right. <laughs> Did you hear that whole thing? Did you hear Siri? That'd be funny. Uh oh. Oh, Jimbo didn't like that. Hi. Hello. Come here. Come here. Oh, come here. Oh, buddy. Hi, sleepy boy. Don't fall asleep here. There. I'll move you over just a little bit. Cat cam is now regular cam. And we're gonna crochet like super far away like this. No, no, don't fight. No, no, don't, don't, no, no. No. No, 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 we're not playing. No. No more play. Just chill. We'll play after this the stream, okay, bud? I, sometimes this is how I have to crochet, like really far away from my cat. But sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do when you're crocheting with a cat in your lap. So warm. They're so warm. <laughs> Hi. Are you going to get comfortable? Okay. Jimbo's here now. How old is my kitty? This kitty is just, uh, I think he's like four or five. I got him when he was two or three. And he's the best thing that's ever happened to me. Yes, we're gonna be crocheting food. Uh, yeah, next, um, next live stream, we're gonna be crocheting food. And it's gonna be a design along, so we're gonna be designing food together. I'm gonna get your guys' opinion on which food to make and then we'll design it together. There we go. All right, we got one more row, or one more round for this chunky boy, and then we're done. Hi, AJ. AJ has a question. What's your question, AJ? Let me know. I'm 
here to help, if I can. As we awkwardly crochet, finish this last round of a ghost with a cat on our laps. One. Ooh. Two. Just a couple more stitches. Three. Four. I agree, Leaf Sauce. It does sound nostalgic. Five. Yeah, hey Cooper, I actually probably am gonna need your help next week if you're if you're down to help. And six. For like writing the pattern down, I mean. All right, this is how much yarn we have left. I don't think it's enough for another ghost, unfortunately, but we'll figure out what to do with it. I'll put it in my, in my stash. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, is it possible that we, that I can move the live streams earlier when you pass the planned out ones. We have a crochet club in my school. I'm one of the leaders. Oh, very cool. Well, congratulations for being a crochet leader. That's awesome. No, 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 no. You're okay, buddy. It's okay. You don't have to go anywhere. You can hang out. He doesn't like it when I move around too much. Oh. <laughs> Did you hear that? That was gross. Are you going to go back to your bed? He's thinking about it. We're stuffing our guy up and then we're gonna be done. Um, I will think about that. Uh, and we start at, whoa, Eastern time. Um, I will I will think about it. Uh, I, I might start doing like maybe switching it up every now and then. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'll strongly consider it though. stuffing our ghost up I'm using like enough stuffing for like a week I didn't normally use in like a week one more one more thing all right I think that's enough stuffing let's see Actually, we could use a little bit more. Gosh, you are squishy. Good boy. Jimbo's jealous I'm petting this ghost and not him, probably. How you feel, Jimbo? How you doing, bud? Yeah? Okay. All right, I'm sorry I didn't do a different face. Um, I know I know people need to do like an O face and stuff on it, but I just didn't do that and I'm sorry about that. Uh, I thought I'd have time for one more ghost and I think I think maybe making this chill out live stream a little shorter and then that way I can do more of them more often would be a good idea. So I think I'd like to give you a tour of the room. Jim was back in the spot and then maybe call it for today. I hope that's okay. Now this is the hard part, is I need to sew this closed, but the needle is too big, or the yarn is too big for the needle. So what I do, very sick, is I'm gonna use my crochet hook for that, as if it's the needle.
Uh, not an open. Sorry. You know what I meant. Shut up, Zoe. <laughs> bit this <laughs> I'm laughing at myself all right there we go pull tight closed up on the bottom extra thread. Okay. All right, guys. We got a regular size ghost. Look at I'm holding it. Here, I'll hold it exactly like the picture. Regular size ghost. We got our chonky ghost. Chunky ghost numero uno. Ah. We're throwing ghosts around. And then our super chunky ghost. We got so many ghosts now. So if you're ever curious, people ask all the time, how do you crochet your pieces bigger? And I always just say, use bigger yarn. There you go. Three ghosts, same pattern, bigger yarn. Easy squeezy. XL chonk. All right. Here, here, there. Very cool. All right, let me give you a quick little tour of my, uh, my um, rainbow room. It's not the cleanest right now, but it's not too messy. I'll give you a little tour. Um, let me, uh, I'm gonna turn the, I'm gonna turn my audio off just for a second because I wanna change the microphone direction so I can talk to you while I give you a tour. Okay, hopefully you can hear me. I can't see the chat, unfortunately. But let me give you a little tour real quick. This is my rainbow room. You can see, we got our little, I got my accordions over there. Over here is, you can't really see it much, but there's a little desk over there. You know what, let me turn the, let me turn the chat around real quick. Okay, so right over here is my, um, like over there is my uh, business partner's desk. This is my desk. I have it standing right now. That's where I do all my regular live streams. You can kind of see a little, hello. This is where I do the live streams. Then, well, actually, we gotta go all the way around this way. Uh, okay, then I got my, that's my little gaming setup over there. Um, oh, I'll play, yeah, I can play a little song for you. Uh, and then... Shoop, 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 shoop. Hold on, I gotta half close that. There, here's the Jimbo Corner. Hi, buddy. And then that, right there, right here, we have like a big bookshelf. Okay. I gotta turn the audio off again. OK, 
Can you hear me? Okay. Yes, this is my whole office. Big office. I'll try to play you a little song. And then, and then I'm gonna call it for tonight. Yes, this is the chair where I dominate in Smash Brothers. They, they requested a little song. Cute. So I'm gonna play them a little song and then we're gonna talk to them. Oh, oh, my gosh, he's been there pretty much all the time now. He went on my lap for a while. Do you mind if you have a live audience? No, that's okay. Let's see. All right, let's turn the music off. I do, we have, so we have a switch over there. I play a lot of video games right here. Uh, and uh, we don't have an Xbox. I do have a PlayStation though. Okay. What song should I play then? Whatever you feel most confident playing right now. How does it sound? I think that's my favorite, this is my favorite song to play. What do you think? Good choice? Sure. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think that was pretty good for on the fly. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> Couple goofs, but I haven't played ukulele in a while. Yeah. That is an original song, by the way. It is. Hope you like it. I call it Hope. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> you want to say bye? I do. I want to say goodbye on the Jimbo camp. Okay, we'll say goodbye on the Jimbo camp. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'm definitely going to have to do more live streams like this in the near future. <laughs> um, I'll see you guys. Uh, yeah, see you guys next Thursday. Next Thursday, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, like, subscribe, you know, all that fun stuff. And thank you for bearing with my music. Uh, and Aww, we're, we're going to say, we're going to have Jimbo and Jules say bye. He is. He's extremely soft. Good night. All right. Night, night. <laughs> Bye, everybody. I think I tricked you all. You hung up first. Ha ha! <laughs> <laughs>